Greetings, young scholars. Allow me, George Grenville, to take you on a journey through a pivotal chapter in history, the tale of the Stamp Act. This story holds significance, for it is a tale of policies, rebellion, and the transformative power of people's voices. Picture the year 1765, a time when the British Empire stood at a crossroads. As Prime Minister, I stood at the helm seeking solutions to address the Empire's financial challenges after the costly Seven Years' War. To secure revenue, the idea of the Stamp Act was conceived, a tax on various paper documents and materials in the American colonies. In a room adorned with opulent furnishings, I, George Grenville, sat across from King George III. I presented the concept of the Stamp Act, believing it to be a practical measure to alleviate the Empire's financial strain. As the King listened, he pondered the implications of this policy on the faraway colonies. The Stamp Act aimed to generate revenue from the colonies to contribute to the Empire's needs. It was intended to fund the British military presence that had been instrumental in protecting the colonies during the Seven Years' War.